So if you look at traditional drug discovery today, Sean gave a great overview. One of my colleagues likes to call it a fishing expedition. You're just looking for drugs that seem to do something that seem to work. They're not really designed in a data-driven way. And that's, again, what we're changing with AI. So by using AI and feeding it with the right data, we can actually generate molecules that the machines think have a higher chance of working. So instead of just finding something when you go fishing, you can actually build the molecule that you need to solve the problem. And we think that's going to result in molecules that uh, tend to bind t more tightly to a target uh, or less tightly, depending on what you're trying to do. At Absi, we optimize something we call naturalness, how natural an antibody is. And we've showed that this score is associated with clinical success. So you can look at molecules that have entered the clinic and, and how they've done in terms of the body accepting or rejecting those drugs. And you can see it checking out with the kinds of techniques we're doing here. And it all starts again with the data. We can show our algorithms examples of hundreds of millions of antibody sequences that you see in humans and that you see in animals. And that's just one of the, the kinds of data uh, that we use um, and generating uh, you know, millions of sequences here uh, that we can use in order to, to feed these models and show them what makes a good drug.